that's pretty neat. But we're still, you can see those little yellow flags, we were taking errors out of the book. Oh, I see. Misspellings, things like that. Uh -huh. That's what that's all about. You get chosen, yeah, frozen. That's what got me, chosen, frozen. No, I, I was in this, like I said, I was, we were in the center. Yeah. And they were on the, see, that, that's, that's why I, I told you. They had written books and more books and more books. But they don't tell you what flank were there, on the right hand side, on the side, left, or in the center. That's where we have to talk to the individual to find that so, out. Uh, actually, actually there some, some of them put a lot of stuff in it. They tell stories, mm -hmm. but they're not not finished. They're not they're not the real thing. They're just making up as they go along. Little pieces. Little pieces that is wrong. Uh, like, uh, say for instance, uh, they weren't the chosen, which the chosen reservoir, really they had a, they had a handful of fighting in there. Yeah. Where we went up the Yellow River. There's a yellow, there's a mountain separating Manchurian the Pit River in North Korea. So when from there, uh, they, 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 all the orders came, to pull back at least five to 10 Ks from there. Okay. Don't engage. And you were 10 K from the Yalu right then anyway? Right, yes, anyway. So the mountains in front of you and the Yalu's on the other side? On the other side okay. and the river in between. Right. Between Manchura and us. Okay. So when they cross any, any enemy over, we didn't know it because we couldn't see it when they come to that mountain there. Right. Okay. So when we pulled back, we pulled it 10 miles back and the CEO said, I want to, this is be my, my, my CP. All right. In the front, the tanks were like this here. Okay. Like an arch. Horseshoe in front of the CP. Yeah. yeah, in front of the CP. That means that nobody could come this way because we get them. No one coming this way because we get them. The front it was covered from the front tanks. The tank lined up in the front like this here. All right. Where were you in location to that? In that, I was in the I was in the left hand side. Left flank, extreme yeah. far left. Far left. Okay. So when when they the the song start seeing, you know, looking. I don't want tank. I think it, it light, put the lights on. They were. In, in ranks for coming at us. Okay. But we stood still because we couldn't fire. Four wide. Four wide. Infantry. Infantry. Their infantry. Right. Not ours. We didn't have any. Then he said, the, 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 when they finally reached us, the captain gave the orders. Fire. Who, we, who are we firing? He's in front of the tanks with the CP, which he, he committed a colonel scene there. He wasn't supposed to be there in the first place. He put the CP in front of the tanks? Yes. I mean, I, I, I don't think I'm, I don't know if I should put it on there in the book. He was an engineer uh -huh. in the center to our company to take over the company. This is the colonel? This, this is this is his captain. Captain, okay. Come from there, they put him there, they figured they could run the they could run the company of tanks to change his his MOS because there was not too much rank in the engineers. He said it was in tanks and infantry. 
Wow. And, and, and uh, you know. So he wasn't qualified. He, yeah. He wasn't qualified. He had the book, armor book in his back pocket. Learning as he goes. Yeah, learning. But what he did, he put us on a darn fix there. Because all they had to do is back off his around us. Yeah. And that was it. We were, yeah. That's what was over for us. So I said to myself, I said, man, is this guy here? He better not try nothing with me and court martial me for something I did wrong. So we pulled, we pulled back. I would think, I would say, I would say we put back a bag, we pulled back about 20 Ks, maybe 30 at the most. We found a, a beer wag there. The EXO found it. Okay. So I said, well, we went around the thing there like this here. I came out, and here's a row. I came out right here. So the my tank was here. The platoon sergeant on this road was over here. Yeah, okay? and I was over here. When they when I when somebody hollered Chinese, I start shooting. Just unload. I just didn't show it. Here's the trucks. So I said, well, what the hell, I'm going to fire. I'll fire the trucks because this is an aircraft unit and there must be people on those trucks. Yeah. They can't be, they can't be walking. Right. So what I did, I started with a 50 caliber on it. I hit the engine to of the truck, you know, the tire, and frame started. That gave me light, more light, and I started down the road. This is a convoy moving on you? Yeah. Okay. But, but at, the, at the time, at the time that I started my firing, they had stopped. What made them stop? You know, the, the Chinese as well as the Japanese, their eyesight is 300 yards. Really? Yeah. It's, 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 that's, the rest of it they can't see. They don't see you at 400. There's no binoculars. No, no binoculars. Without binoculars, that's it. Their eyes is 300. Okay. Okay. So uh, the the platoon sergeant, which was the fourth, uh, the the third tank, or the yeah, the third tank had no business firing at all. I had the, I had the, the, the view the view more than they did. Right. I could see at night better than they could. Yeah. And I, I saw so when I... And you had the angle. Yeah, I had the angle for them. And I, I, I was just about to give the order for the 90, and we'd shoot at the, with the head, head of this convoy, and we started fire over there. And that would start, that would start firing better. Right. Well, when he, he uh, the, the sergeant let his gunner fire, yes, I, I, I did it. I went up to it. I said, God, chief, but for crying out loud. No, 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 no blood, that's okay. I said, that's all right. They, all of a sudden, stop. I they they uh, I I stop and I said, listen, do this one more time and I turn this sucker on you and blow you off to kingdom come. This guy fired behind you. Yeah. Can you take a shrapnel? I thought I I thought you I because he had the bullet pet too close to my head. Yeah. When the darn thing goes to your here, and that bullet passes here, it's the, the heat is behind it. Because that's like all gases turn loose. And you're on top of your tank? Yeah. I'm on top of the tank. Well, he's the firing over the top of you. No. He was oh, beside, beside through you. To, yeah. you, to me. Wow. But you had no right. No, you don't, you don't fire that close to families like that. No. So I, I said, so he said, uh, he, call, he 
if, if, if you wanted to see the company commander, and he says, I, I want this man, court martial. I want a general court martial on him. Mm -hmm. So he said, they lived to the, the, the platoon leader, the, uh, they told the platoon leader about it. He says, what? Pancho again? What the hell did this guy, he done this time? I don't know, but, but the sergeant was a, a general court martial on him. Well, I'm going to talk to him and see what he's got to say. He came over. He said, uh, did you say this and this and this? I said, yes, I did. I'm not, I'm not going to hide anything on me. Yeah. Did you? What did you do that for? I said, well, I said, sir, I said, he almost killed me. What do you mean he almost killed me? Yes, I said, See, that bullet had to do it so darn close to me that I thought, he, I, thought I was hit, yeah. buried. And the captain is right there like you are between him and I and, and the sergeants over here. I said, uh, he said, do you have any, any proofs? Oh, I said, now we're going to go ahead and start a court right here, right? Yeah. So I said, well, you know, you, you, they accuse you of you, a general court martial because you was going to blow them up the next time. I said, yeah, I sure do. Yeah. I said, because you got no business firing. He has no business of firing his weapon when I'm in front of him. Right. If he was in front of me, I wouldn't do it. Right. Because I know better. And they're trying to ring you up for him. Yeah. I said, let me tell you, with a big general Russian and me, since, since I uh, hit Italy, I said, when it wasn't one thing, it was another. When I was look, looking for something to drink, I come an hour late because they were looking for me. I don't know what the hell I got there. I always got to look for me. I said, I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, I said, they better cut it out because they're not going to succeed. Yeah. Well, anyway, he said, well, okay. Okay, Pancho, you, you say you, you got evidence. You got your evidence. Yes, I do. Where are they? And that weapon. Your weapon? And the gun? And your tank? Yeah, on that 90 millimeter. I said, yeah, on my weapon. But tell the gunner to roll it down. I want to see it. And here is that. It's, let's say, pretend that this is the, the gas evacuator. Okay. Well, the bullet went this way here. Miss me, hit this. Hit the top of the gas actuator. Yeah. So left a scar mark on the way uh, through. Oh, we, we left a hole in it. Left a hole in it. Wow. I said, you want the bullet? We can go ahead and I'll dig that out. up too, right? Screw it out and <laughs> give you the bullet. <laughs> well, that wasn't really necessary. I said, well, that's, that's evidence. Right. Because I want to go ahead and go ahead and go to court. And let him court martial me, but another one is going to go with me. Right. He says, Who is that? The captain. The captain? Do you know what you're doing? I said, Yes, I know what I'm doing. Let me tell you one thing, sir. I'm not an officer. But I know more than, than he does. Right. I says, Who in the hell do you? Think about putting the darn CP in the front of the tanks. Yeah, but let me take this this engineer captain down here with me and show you just how off you are. Uh, I wanted to show you something too. You'll get just to take off subject for a second. Yeah, sure. When's the last time you saw one of these? Oh Lord, he she was just <laughs> quite a while. God, it's a ninety millimeter, a ninety millimeter. Whipping. That's the last time you slugged one of these around. Whoosh. 
she would be <laughs> <laughs> okay. I used to go ahead and rattle them in there like Johnny be good. Right? I I, I, I could I could learn load a weapon within I made the the what do you call it, the book they made the weapon shop. The manual? The, the manual. A liar. You can make a liar out of it? I, 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 you load, I think it's 10 rounds. Okay. A, a, a minute. 10 a minute? And, 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 and a, in a minute. Okay. I, because I loaded. One every six seconds? A, a, about one. I, lo I loaded 10 in less than uh, 10 minutes or, or, or 8 minutes or 8 seconds. So, but, wait, wait. It's 10 of them a minute. It takes 10 a minute. That's what the manual said you can yeah. do. But you're beating that record. So yeah. you're loading them faster eight. than every six seconds. On eight. eight. Eight rounds. You got eight rounds in under a minute? Under a minute. Wow. I, I was loading so, fast. In fact, I was loading fast that the gunner said, I forgot to uh, turn, the, turn the trigger off every time. Yeah. But he, one time he forgot it, and then recall came and he took my hand. And I said, "God, he was for crying out loud!" He didn't break your hand, did he? No, he didn't break that. Not for the hair, hit me here. It still bothers me. Uh, he said, "What happened?" I said, "You know what happened, you dumbass." <laughs> you never care. You took your head, the finger, and we need that for the word for talk. Turn the trigger off. Put the trigger and take your finger off of it. Yeah. Put the trigger and take your. I was learning so fast he kept it. He just. <laughs> just he just stayed locked down like a machine gun. Huh? Throws, throws on to it. <laughs> All right. Um, the court martial event. Did that occur in Korea in 1950 or 51? 50. In 50. Let's see. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. Let me, let me see if I can't find a map in here to work with. Because I know there's a couple. This map may not cover it, but it might. We'll take a look. So I'm going to try to... I'm going to try to... You got it? We Okay. This is the Pusan perimeter. Uh -huh. All right. So when you enter the war in Korea, this is up here, you're at um, Incheon. Mm -hmm. Iwan's up here. Mm -hmm. All right. And this is, you should have a date down here. It's the same way. 2330? Task Fourth Pursuit. Uh huh. The Pursuit. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can read this a little better here. 23, 30, September 1950. In September 1950 in Korea, my understanding is you're down around here on the Pusan perimeter. You drive all the way up to get to Yalu. How do you get to the Yalu? We, we get to the Yalu. Where is uh, Pyongyang? Pyongyang? Pyongyang, the capital. It's way up here. Okay. The 38th runs right about here. Yeah. Because we were in Pyongyang. Drop down, and they run us all back, back down here to 30 miles from uh, Sioux, Busan. 30, 30 miles, miles from, from Busan? Busan. All right, Busan's right here. You're 30 miles north of that position. That puts you about right here. No. We're all the way back. Right. To Busan, almost it was almost coming back to the to the ocean, the side of the ocean. Right, but you said thirty miles from Pusan, so that puts this map's pretty accurate then. That would put you right about there, wouldn't it? Let me ask a more important question. Yeah. What yeah. tank battalion are you with? I am with the with the In September nineteen fifty. September nineteen fifty. We got over there in the 68th Tank Battalion. Okay. 
uh, dash to the 25th Infantry. To the 25th Infantry? Mm -hmm. Okay. For a while with them. And then we went from there, we started, we started back. To 38th Parallel. To the 38th Parallel going, going, going in the center. Right. In, in to Pyongyang. Pyongyang. And then we went on through Pyongyang, and here is the 38th. Yeah. Right there. 38, uh, where the Yellow River is here. No, no. Yellow River is further north. Further north. Well, Pyongyang is north. You have Seoul. Seoul. So the capital. Pyongyang, Yalu. Okay. So Yalu is not on this map. So we, we took a. We took uh, Pyongyang. I mean, yeah, we took Pyongyang, the capital of North Korea. Okay. Uh, this, this is the whole of North Korea right there. Uh -huh. Or South Korea, North and South. Okay. So you're down here in Pusan. Uh -huh. You're with the 25th yeah. Infantry attached with the 68th Armor, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Here's Incheon Landing here. Yeah. That's uh, the one where they started. Here's, here's the Yalu up here. Uh -huh. Pyongyang's right there, your dead center. Okay. Pyongyang is here. We took Pyongyang and kept on going. And this is the mountain. I think you're a little bit more, I think you go a little more left because the way this mountain range here uh -huh. is what separates East and West North Korea. You had Marines and Army on the east side you had Army and Rock Marines on the west side. Mm -hmm. And that mountain pass in between is, is an area of contention mm -hmm. that uh, the, US, the UN tried to resolve, but they never could. Anyway, this don't show mountain right there. Yeah, it's about, it's about right in here. Right in there, where we stop and we pull back. Okay, 20 clicks. Clicks. You were 10 clicks away from the Yalu and you back up 20. 20. And that's when that, that event occurred? Okay, so we're talking right about November. November. Late November. Late, yeah, because it was still warm. It was still warm? Yeah. The cold starts in December. Because, uh, because <coughs> well, let me, let me be clear about something. On December the 1st, mm -hmm. on the east side of Chosen, it's already cold. Yeah. It got cold quick oh, that yeah, year. Oh, of the ocean. Well, it got so cold that a lot of these guys were getting frostbitten and sent home. That's how bad it got. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're, you're confusing yourself with, yeah. with Vietnam or World War II, I think, a little bit. Uh, well... I'm not, not uh, being now the World War II. I, I am uh, com getting confused because it's been quite a while. I understand, and that's why we're here to work it out. When I get a map in front of me, I can pin you down and track your, your movements a lot better. Mm -hmm. So that's why I came in handy. Um, and, and that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be able to sit down with you and literally walk the walk, talk the talk. I see here. This is the battlefront, November. You see this waterline? That's the Yalu. That's your Yalu. Mm -hmm. Now this is the Pusan Reservoir. That's the Chosen Reservoir. Now Ray, the guy that, whose office we're hanging out in, he's in between the both of them, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You're up here on the Yalu, 10 clicks off. That's your mountain range right in here. You're not this far to the north. You're probably you're right in here or a little bit further south. Mm -hmm. I've fallen that water line. You're at the northern point of North Korea, right? Mm -hmm. But you're not the most northern point of North Korea. The no. Rock Marines have this. Yeah. The Army has this. The Marines are holding that. There's a big ass mountain range that runs right through the middle of here. Okay? Yeah, oh yeah. And there's another mountain range that spears off here and follows the water line. That's where you're at. Now the stories that I read said that you guys had bivouacked 10 miles away mm -hmm. 
and everything was kind of quiet for a couple of days. Right. But all of a sudden, out of wild blue, they just come banging on you. Yeah. I mean, just banging. Four, four, four abreast. All right. These are four of the generals operating on the east side. Doesn't really relevant to you. It's not really relevant to you. These are airplanes moving in material in and out of the chosen. But I'm trying to get to some of these other maps. All right. Mm -hmm. Battle of Changon. Does that ring a bell? Changon. Uh, Late November, 1950. Okay, where's Tagu? Tagu? Tagu here. I know it's in there. I just don't know if I can see it. I might have to go get my other glasses. I feel like a moron using it like this. I can't see it on there, but I'm thinking it's somewhere fairly central. Tegu. Is that it? Tagu on? Tagu. Yeah. That's, that's, a, that's it. Uh huh. No, well, that's Kaich. That's Kaich. We had to uh, go ahead and retreat all the way back to Tagu. To Tagu? Yeah. All right, you're further, yeah, you come further back. When they push you back, they push you all the way past the 38th. Yeah, past the 38th, right close to, to uh, Inchan, no, not Inchan, but uh, Seoul. Busan. Busan is 30 miles away from Seoul. No, Seoul, Seoul's up here. Busan's way down here. There's 120 miles on that run. Oh, oh. There's 120 miles or about 100 miles from Iwan to the Yalu on the east side. Mm -hmm. so they brought you all the way back to Pusan, which they do. Yeah. They put you all the way back a second down. You regroup in Taigon, then you're up, you're up here in like dead center middle. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. Now, you said when you got up here, though, to the Yalu that they attached you to the first rock. No. No? Uh, no. That wasn't, didn't happen until uh, it was uh, summertime. Summertime? Yeah. 1951. Yeah. That they had attached us to the 1st Rock Division. Okay. So that we could fight together. All right. And so uh, basically you were fighting with the 8th Army mm -hmm. under Walker. Under Walker. Until summertime. Summertime. Okay. And then from there, uh, after I was attached there, they asked for volunteers who wants to take the point. You know what the point is. Right. Arrowhead. The, yeah. Point the of the spear. The head, the head. The spear in it. So, the other sergeants, they just throw in their head and they wouldn't say nothing, shit. I said, I told, I told the lieutenant, the lieutenant was a, a lieutenant that came out of uh, Canada that fought with the British in El Alamein. El Alamein? Uh, Al yeah. Okay. It's where he, uh, he was a fighter that, that uh, battled there for the Alamein. Okay. Well, anyway, I said, hell, I'll take the point. So somebody let the kid out of the bag and says, you know, he says, that certain there, I don't know what the hell, I think he's half crazy. You know, so. You think he's a resume soldier? He's re <laughs> yeah. Chasing he, ribbons? Yeah, chasing ribbons. Wow. But I, I wasn't chasing ribbons. He said nobody wa wanted to. Uh, That's what they were accusing you of, yeah. though. I mean, I, if they, want, they didn't want to volunteer, I said, what the heck shit, what the hell is the use of wasting time outside, we might get killed. Yeah. I said, I'll take it. I said, I, I, and then he, he, he put that nickname, Pancho. Pancho? Pancho Villa? Yeah. <laughs> Pancho. Did you call him an asshole? <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I, I didn't say nothing to him. He was, he was a, he was a, uh, an alcoholic. Yeah. I brought the bottle out and... Pretty common, huh? Yeah, yeah leave, leave, leave me some. So, yeah, thank Pancho, thank you. I needed that one. I said, I know you do. 
I said, well, I said, uh, I'll take a point. Oh, okay. And then the, one of the sergeants let it out. He said, well, hell, yeah, that, let that crazy sergeant get killed, not me. So I said, well, shit, they must might want me dead very bad. Yeah. <laughs> so I said, so I said, okay. I got on the tank, I said, okay now, lock and load. And, and you were riding top side or you pinned under? No, I, I, I'm riding You're closed the top, up. The top. Okay. Not close up. Okay. With the hatch open. And I says, okay driver, give her, give her a little bit of speed on it, about 10 or 15 miles. Let them run behind us. Okay, uh, uh, what are we doing? I said, you just try and look ahead. And tell the tell the uh, assistant driver to make make sure he uses that machine gun. Okay. Be, be aware on the side of you. On the right side. Ahead, yeah, wherever that uh, hash 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 grows are out. Uh, either small or tall, let him fire a volley of rounds there. Maybe it might be a. An anti an anti eye gunner. Anything that the pops up the target. Yeah, I said that that's 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 what I wanted. Okay. So when the, finally uh, we got about a mile and a half or so, and he said that they stopped the tanks. The colonel, <coughs> infantry colonel of the Korean army, stopped it. He said. Uh, I'm going to use my infantry. I don't think I'd use the tanks. There's no need to use the tanks here. My infantry can do the job. Okay. Because <coughs> the record, the Rock uh, First uh, Infantry Division was a, a number one in their in their books. First First Rock Marine Infantry. Yeah. You know, right. They were, they were good. Okay. So I said. Uh, well, if that's what they want, then shit, they can have it. Right. I'll, I'll give them that. And then when we uh, stopped there and backed up, but before, now before I, I got on my tank and moved, I saw these guys coming and laying wood, more wood, more wood, and more wood. I had bodies that were there. They were already there? Yeah, dead. Wow. Putting wood on it, more wood and more wood, and then here comes two more, putting gas around the, the top, 10 gallons of gas, and then let the fire on to it. To get it to burn. To burn, and they burn them right there. Was that an enemy soldier? I know. That was their own soldiers. Wow. They, they took the, a piece of the ID card, the, the, what they call them, their version of a dog tag? Yeah, the dog tag. In plastic. Yeah. I said, shoot, I said, they don't even bury them. They just burn them right there, ashes. Pretty tough. And I said to myself, I said, what kind of people are these? Pretty hardcore from yeah. our point of view. Yeah, pretty, pretty damn hardcore, and they were. Yeah. And I said, well, at least I found that out now. So they, they came out and, and the, uh, the captain said, to, okay, so line up the tanks. All right, when you take point, where do you think you're at? I'm, I'm right outside the Busan uh, Itself. So this is the second breakout. Break that break it. Break out again. Second. Try the second. Right. Okay. The second time. So anyway, we we went up there. I run over a mine and it exploded all. Well, I, 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 I ran over that mine and the thing didn't explode. And uh, somebody said, uh, in in the tank. He said, Sergeant says, what did you volunteer for? I said, you know, that's your damn business. Pay attention to your damn business. To your job. To your job. 
and that's what you want. I want you all to do your jobs. I said, you came here to fight, you're going to fight. Fight. I said, you, you're not going to write a letter to your girlfriend telling how many comics, comics you killed today. Yeah. Because you, you, you lied. Right. You, you ain't started yet. Wait until you start. I'll teach you something. You're a pretty hard-nosed guy. Let me tell you what, <laughs> what, 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 how, what the hell happened in there. They gave me a mailman, a clerk. A mail man. clerk? Mail clerk. They gave me a cook. They gave me a, uh, a guy that only drove the tank. 40 feet away in the back. But he had some driving. Some driving in. Wow. And they gave me, it was, what would happen to the other one? What was it? Your loader? No. It, my loader, oh yeah, my loader. What was it? A truck driver. <laughs> a I truck did. driver, a mailman, a, a mail clerk. Yeah, clerk. Right? A guy that's only been driving 40 feet. Uh oh, I am sorry. And, and a cook. And a cook, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Did I, they, that's the kind of crew I had. They really wanted you dead. Yeah. <laughs> so wow. We got into a battle. Ah, shit. Just before there is a. It, it's town, there's nothing but, what the hell they call them, they're eating up with the... Scurry? Uh, Mosquitoes? No, 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 no. This is a disease. Smallpox? Uh, a disease where they, they, these people lose their skin. Leprosy. Leprosy. Was it town leprosy? before we took the town we were fighting for. And uh, <clears throat> in the town of leprosy, we stopped. You don't remember the name of the town? No, I don't remember, but it's, uh, we didn't go into the city because right. of the leprosy. So we were on the outskirts of the city. Okay. So then, uh, uh, when we were fighting for that town, they, 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 uh, assistant driver, bullets are coming in, bullets are coming in. I said, shut your damn mouth or I'll get out of here and get you on top and put you as a damn ass target for them. <laughs> I'll strap you to the front, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so I, I said, you better open that damn hatch because I'm going to do it. Said you better shut your mouth. <laughs> better shut your mouth. You'll do it. You got more things to worry about than that, right? Yeah. Pay attention. I said pay attention to what the hell I'm doing and what I am saying right. now. I said because I'm going to put up over your bad asses. I don't put up with it. I said so therefore do as you're told. Obey the orders and I won't bother you. When did they give you this crew? As soon as you landed? Mm -hmm. Right out of the gate. Wow. So here's your tank, here's your man. Follow them. Yeah. Wow. It's just what they don't know, you teach it to them. Wow. So. I I'm, mean, I knew our forces were green, but that's green. But, but let me tell you something. We were 17 tankers. Commanders of tanks. Yeah. And said we were 17 World War II. Really? The other one had good people with him. The only sorry one was I think <laughs> they push all that. They, they, they tell them where did you uh, where did they teach your tanks? Fort Knox. I'll take you. They, I'll take that one. Yeah. I says, what the, what the hell am I going to ask? Right. I, I can't get no, nobody else. I 
they already got them. You got the last and you got the bottom of the barrel. Yeah, I said, <laughs> that's it. I mean, they might be running out of it. <laughs> but you get to eat good. You know you can send a letter home. And uh, if the tank breaks down, they, you can hitchhike on a truck on the way home, right? <laughs> <laughs> I said, God, she was <coughs> Oh, man. man, you got they're screwed. They're rotten. They're rotten people there. So how long did it take you to get them straight? Shit. I, I, it took me from this time that winter set in and they had to put, they were picking me up from the sack and standing me up. The second were, water? Yeah. 51. And I said, God, she was, I got to get up. They make it to God. He was praying or not. And I'm in full uniform. Yeah. And and and, and the jacket on. Everything on me. Okay. I had it on. And I God. Oh wow. My bones was aching so bad. So finally they came out and said, We we'll let me let's let's help him. Let's come go ahead and help you. So they come around and say, you need some help, sir? I said, yeah, I need to stand up. Is the CEO, the CEO around? Do you see him? No. Okay, let's go. Come on, move. So they came over and picked me up and stand me up. And I started moving around the boom. He said, don't worry about your bedroll. We'll roll it for you. Okay, take care of my bedroll then. I woke up and I said, oh, God, she was crying out. I am beat up. I said, but hell, I won't leave them alone. I got to keep them. I got them, I keep them. Now yeah. but I got them where it's fed. They're pretty well working together now. Okay, well, let's, so, go back, let's go back to the leprosy village. Oh, the leprosy village. Well, uh, when that happened, I said, I'll, I'll get up with the dummy tank, open the hatch and pick your ass up and put you as a target and me behind you. Mm -hmm. And I'll hold you until they get through. So you better, you better don't start that shit. Right. So what I said, yeah. well, they are getting close. I said, that's how, the, that's how come you got to put your eyes on that periscope. We had a periscope that big, you know. Put it, push it in, and you was looking out there. Just look here. You're looking at you. I'm looking at you. So I said, "You got that periscope? Use it, damn it! What the hell do you think you're it is there for? Right. To enjoy, to enjoy yourself, looking at you." <laughs> so he said, "Stop a mirror." <laughs> <laughs> said, "Well, uh, I don't see anything to fire at because you're not looking." That, that's what you hear outside is popcorn. That bullet hit the tank. Yeah, hit the tank. It's not coming in. And he couldn't find anything to hit? And he couldn't find anything to hit. And here I am on top, and I saw this about, I'll say, about 1,500 yards. And I turned loose on that 50. Man, he was. <laughs> He's trying to progress. <laughs> trying to see him. I mean, the, the part of the mountain that was on. You want to take a you want to take a five minute break? Go to the bathroom, stretch your legs. We'll come back. We'll start again. No, I'm okay. Okay. I'm okay. All right, just checking. I woke I woke a mile a mile yesterday and a half. Okay. So I'm my legs are okay. All right, good. I'm, I don't want to wear you down or wear you out. No, no. So this this takes us up to the summer of 1951, well, winter of 51. When we got through there, the rocks, got the rest of them, we pulled back and turned and went, went down to to the, on the outskirts of that uh, leprosy village. Leprosy village. And there we made a line of tanks. Okay. So Did you put infantry in front of them? No. No infantry. Okay. So we 
we put the tanks, and I was up at the, almost at the end. I was at the end, but I was number five tank of the third platoon. All right. So. We were still with the 68th? Yeah. We still had the 68th tank battalion. And C Company, right? C Company. Okay. And I said, Oh, let's, let's go ahead and wash the clothes. Wash our clothes. You know what we wash the clothes with? What? Gasoline. Gasoline? Yeah. Does it work? It, yeah, it does work. It clean your clothes cleaner than, than you think you can get it. Yeah, but how do you get the gas out of it? We just let them dry. Wow, dude. <laughs> Oh, wow, really? You never, you never heard of that one? Stay, no, stay right there. I'm going to check my camera. Keep on talking. Okay. So, anyway, the, the, the captain had a, a guy in his tank that he wasn't worth three cents if you wrote a check that bounces on him. Right, the, right. That decided to play. He, he, we got a, a we captured a b bunch of uh, 38 ammunition, which is a, they use it for 38 uh, ammunition. 38 millimeter? 38, 38 caliber ammunition. Handgun? No. Right. Right. Uh, uh, regular to shoot at the tanks and aircraft. Okay. And, uh, he decided to pack up a, a bunch of that uh, on the tank. And when we made that line there that we stopped, he started taking the, the projector off out of it and started spreading it all along. And he stopped here. He left me alone. He left this tank alone. And then went back. And put the gunpowder all the way across? Yeah. yeah. And then put a match to it, and he was a step sergeant. The captain made him step sergeant. Why would he do that? <coughs> Playing. Just jacking around. Yeah, just just jacking, jacking around. And and the kid that the kid that got burned was from Pennsylvania. A kid got burned over that? Because you were, that, that that was powder from the. Thing there, spread all the way down there. Yeah. He strike a match here, and he take off like wildfire. Wow, I didn't know it burned that fast. Oh yeah, it burns right real fast. And he was washing clothes, and he cut his leg. Oh wow! And and because uh, he was using gasoline to clean his clothes. And somebody, somebody hollered and said, "Throw a blanket over him." So I was way up in the at that end. And I said, hell, I mean, shit, by the time I get down there, he, he, I'm going to let the ones that get close to me, to him, to go in. And, and he was running, running around like this here. But he didn't go that way to me. Because if it was to me, I would have grabbed a blanket, tackle him, you would have and, and, and go ahead and uh, turn it out. Yeah, but he's too far away from yeah, me. Yeah, far away. From here to that wall, I was too far away. Yeah, you're not going to catch him in a full run. Yeah. Right. And uh, Other uh, people were closer. I said, all he was doing was hollering, I'll kill that ass beat. If he takes my lifetime, I'll kill him. He talking, those other guys talking about, uh, about the, this about three cent jackass. Yeah. What kind of nickname did you give a guy like that? Was he a Skylark or just dumbass? Yeah, well, you give it that, just bring that asshole down here. Just asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's, let's see what he's got. Well, in the Navy, they call them Skylarks. Yeah. You know, and, and I've heard other nicknames through other different branches. Well, the, the captain starts saying, well, he, he's just a kid, you know, he don't, he don't do much. But you made him a step sergeant, how in the hell he got the step sergeant? He's just a kid, he damn near killed one of his own. Yeah. How, how, how did he get a raise? <laughs> how did you get a, how did he make a step sergeant? That's right. what I like to know. So, 
uh, he says, don't, just don't let that S be close to me right now. Right. So they send him from there, they send that kid, that good fellow, to Japan, from Japan to Philadelphia. Right. And about, I think it was three weeks later, he wrote a letter to one of the guys that he knew. In the company? The company. I, knew, I knew him, but I forgot his name. And he said, uh, <clears throat> thank you. Thank you for saving me. And thank you, I am okay. So everything is okay now on me. But he's done for the military at oh, that yeah. point. Yeah, at that point he's done. Yeah. He they, they, they wouldn't bring it back. Well, after the, after they, they when they turn us back, we were, no when we was going towards to the north. The second time. The second time. I was something went wrong with my the injectors on the tank, and they had to have the have to have the maintenance to come and look at it. So I stopped just before we took uh, Puyen. Okay. And uh, this fellow was from, uh, I think, New Jersey, somewhere along there, or New York. I it's making know. sure that we're separating Pong Nam from Pong Yan, or the capital. You're not talking about taking the capital the second time. Took the capital the second time. In Pong Yan. was nothing but a, a, a building with uh, uh, blocks. So you, you know, got I, you got past the 38th on the second run? On the second run. No, but the you second. didn't hold it? No, no. Okay. Okay. So, the, the, uh, I was out there on the road, left there. And when they came down there to fix the tank so I could move it, yeah. they came over. And they fixed my tank and everything and got it ready to roll it. I said, let's go. So we went. <clears throat> I said, uh, okay, turn it, it's 9 o'clock already. We'll be there, but I'm, I was about 15 to 20 miles away from the beer wag okay. for the night. And I got in there into the beer wag and show it is okay, just stop. Put the red light on. I stopped. So I came back, came out with my own fresh light. Follow the road, follow the tracks. Okay. I says, okay. Make sure that you put the light in the head uh, to uh, so the reflection of the light won't come out on the flashlights. Did you run with a red lens or yellow lens or green lens? With a yellow lens. Yellow lens. Yellow lens. Put it outside and put on the put them on, and and the driver follows you. You're his guide. He follow, Yeah, he follows the light. Yeah, yeah, I got you. It's low. It's low impact lighting. Yeah. Yeah. So the enemy isn't going to pick it up quickly. No. I got you. So I am in front of the tank. My tank. And I said, so. I'm walking in front of it, and all of a sudden, I heard, ah, ah. I turned it to red and stopped. Right. Well, I went around the tank to the right, and I said, oh my God, the tank. Ran over that man, two legs. What man? I ran over the man, another soldier. Where was the soldier? 
sleeping right on the tracks of the tank. And you never saw him? I never saw him. Wow. If I would have saw him, I would have let him go with him. Did it kill him? No. Just took him out of the, took him out of the war? I mean, it, see, the tracks has a shoe like this here. Yeah, no, I'm familiar. I'm just saying it's pitch dark. You can't see. Okay. You went, uh, the tank went over, all the way over, up to the engine. Yeah. The engine is the heaviest part of the tank because those tanks are 12 cylinders. Yeah. Big ones. Well, what's said on his legs? And, uh, and this, I had a, I had one of the smartest, stupid men on, uh, on the tank. Yeah. He said, uh, he said something to me. He says, you know, oh. he says, you know, you're stupid. You know what? I said, I'm getting sick and tired of you. And if you don't watch it, I'm going to jank you out of there and knock the shit out of you. Beat the shit out of you myself. And, 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 and put your back in there. Yeah. So you better shut your mouth now. I mean, it's enough what happened. Right. So I, I got over there and said, Oh, so sorry. No time. Oh, Sergeant, this is not your fault. It's not your fault, Sergeant. Oh, she was a man. Oh, God. How could this happen? Did we tell him and tell him every damn time? Do not lay down close to the damn tank tracks. And he was laying right on it. So I said, Chief was for crying out loud. Don't worry, sir, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. I know it's not my fault, but it, it hurts. It still you hurts. What I'm saying? I, it hurts. So the captain comes. Uh, back the tank over, back, back the tank up. Now that's what he said. So the tracks are there, they're all on night this year. They're on top of him. Right. I'll go back. What am I, what am I, what am I going to do? You're going to peel him up in. Yeah. That's actually, that's what would have happened. So the way the grooves are inside the, the tracks, it would have grabbed him because you've already mushed him. That's right. So reversing it, he's going to torque it up in there and get and it caught between and the and teeth. Really, and really go ahead and, and grind him. Grind him. Yeah. So I said, I said, he must be stupid too. You know, right here, everything. I know better. I went to the driver, look. Just turn it loose with the brakes and let it go. Coast out. Coast out. Okay. Do you understand me? Yes. Don't let that son of a bitch upstairs tell you otherwise. Tell it, tell it, say anything to you otherwise than what I have said to you. Right. Don't pay attention to that, to what I tell you. So, who went up? I went to tell the captain, you didn't do that. Uh, what he told you to do to back the tank up. I said, keep your mouth shut. I am the tank commander and not you. Right. I don't know where you get that idea that you think you, you got, do you got the stripes? Right. I said, in fact, I tell you one thing, keep that shit up and I'll bust you. i have you busted. Okay. You don't talk to me in any manner, but Sergeant, can I do this? Can I do that? That's sir, it. yes, sir, no, sir. Yeah. yeah. That's what I want from you. So uh, I rolled it, like I said. Yeah, coast it over. Yeah. So the, so the ambulance came to pick it up. I said, you okay? Well, I, I don't hurt, but I'm all right. Well. And they look, I say a prayer for you. 